Welcome to our tutorial about mirroring components. In this video, we're going to mirror the red and blue plate onto the other side of this base plate. Let's begin by creating a support plane. Click on Reference Geometry on the ribbon and select Plane. Now let's select this face. Right click on this face, select Other. And let's select this face here. So we end up with a mid-plane between these two faces. Let's click OK. On to the next step. With our plane selected, let's activate the Mirror Components tool. Under Components to Mirror, select the red and blue plates. Click on the next arrow. Now when I click on the components in this selection window, you see that the focus in the graphic area moves to the selected item. Down below, we've got four different options for orienting the components. Let's try option one for plate C. And the same for plate B. When I scroll through the options, we see that we don't have a solution for plate B, however. So we'll use the Create Opposite Hand version. Now the icon in the selection window changes. The next arrow is no longer grayed out. Let's click Next. Here we've got a few options. We can create a new derived configuration in existing files, or we can create a new file. Let's opt to create a new file. Down below, we can choose to add a prefix, add a suffix, or create some kind of custom name. I'm going to use the default, the prefix. We've also got the option to place the file in a specific folder that we choose. Let's click Next, and here I'm going to check Break Link to the original part. Click OK. SolidWorks prompts us to rebuild and save. Let's accept that. Notice the blue plate kept its original color, but the red plate lost the color. Let's take a moment to figure out why. The first thing I'm going to do is right-click on my original blue plate and select Appearance. We can see here that color was applied at the part level. Let's right-click on the red plate, select Appearances, and here we can see that color was applied at the assembly level. Let's click on Copy Appearance. Now right-click on the copied gray plate and select Paste Appearance. Here we've got the option to paste at many different levels, starting with the face or surface level on the left, then the feature level, the body level, the part level, and finally at the assembly level. Let's place it at the body level. And let's expand Mirror B in our tree. As you see, SolidWorks has created a folder here for the mirrored components. We can right-click and delete it. And let's click Yes. Since the pin on the right-hand side is 20 millimeters and the left is 10 millimeters in diameter, we're going to need to change the diameter of the hole. Let's go to Sketch 2, right-click, Edit Sketch, and double-click on this dimension. 10 millimeters, OK. And let's exit the sketch. Now we've got a small issue, broken external references. Let's take a moment to figure out where these references came from. We're going to go back to the sketch. Now let's click on Display Delete Relations. Here's the broken coincident relation. As you see, when the part was created, I created a coincident relation. It was between this point here and this edge. We don't need it anymore. That's because we've got mates now. Let's accept and exit the sketch. And let's delete the external references in the original part as well. So right-click on Sketch 1, select Edit. We'll select and delete. Let's exit the sketch. 
Lastly here, before we finish, we can also dissolve mirrored component features. Just right click and select dissolve mirrored component feature. SolidWorks asks if we want to replace the mate in the top level assembly. Let's click yes. Now we no longer have the mirror component feature in the feature design tree. And this concludes our video about using the mirror components tool.